Have you ever wondered how one woman could revolutionize the nursing profession? A profession where compassion meets science, where the everyday act of care becomes a life-saving endeavor. This transformation didn't happen overnight, nor was it a natural evolution. Rather, it was brought about by the tireless efforts of one woman whose name has become synonymous with nursing itself. A woman whose work forever changed the face of healthcare. The woman in question is none other than Florence Nightingale, the mother of modern nursing. Born on May 12, 1820, in Florence, Italy, Nightingale was destined for a life far from ordinary. From a tender age, Florence was a beacon of compassion and curiosity. The daughter of affluent English parents, she was afforded an education far beyond the reach of most girls of her time. Her father, a progressive man, ensured she was schooled in subjects like mathematics and science, a rarity for women in the 19th century. Yet, it was not the allure of societal norms that captivated Florence. Instead, she found herself drawn to the world of healing. Her interest in nursing was ignited during family trips to Europe and the Middle East, where she witnessed the harsh realities of sickness and suffering. Her family, steeped in traditional Victorian values, disapproved, viewing nursing as a profession beneath their class. Against all odds, Nightingale chose to follow her calling and devote her life to nursing. The Crimean War in 1854 marked a turning point in Nightingale's life and the history of nursing. The war, which was as brutal as it was bloody, presented an opportunity for Nightingale to put her nursing skills to the ultimate test. Nightingale arrived in Crimea with a team of less than 40 nurses. What they encountered was a scene of utter despair. The hospitals were overcrowded, unsanitary, and barely equipped to handle the influx of wounded soldiers. Diseases like cholera, typhoid, and dysentery were rampant. It was a situation that demanded immediate action, and Nightingale was ready to answer the call. She began by implementing strict sanitation rules. Nightingale understood the role of cleanliness in preventing the spread of diseases. She insisted on clean bedding, ample ventilation, and proper waste disposal. She also introduced dietary changes and insisted on providing nutritious meals to the patients. These changes might seem commonplace today, but in the mid-19th century, they were revolutionary. Nightingale's efforts didn't stop at improving the conditions in the hospitals. She also collected detailed data on mortality rates, which she used to advocate for better healthcare policies. Her meticulous record keeping helped to highlight the importance of evidence-based practices in healthcare. However, perhaps the most significant contribution of Nightingale's time in Crimea was the establishment of her nursing school. In 1860, Nightingale founded the Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas a Hospital in London. The school was the first of its kind to provide formal training for nurses, setting a precedent for modern nursing education. The Crimean War was a harsh and demanding period, but it also served as a catalyst for Nightingale's mission to reform healthcare. Her work during the war not only saved countless lives, but also laid the foundation for the nursing profession as we know it today. Through her unwavering dedication to improving healthcare, Florence Nightingale truly earned her place in history as the mother of modern nursing. Florence Nightingale's impact extends far beyond her lifetime. After the Crimean War, Nightingale, undeterred by her failing health, continued to champion the cause of public health. She established the first secular nursing school in the world, the Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas Hospital in London. This was a monumental step in transforming nursing into a respected profession. Her principles of cleanliness, patient care and continual learning formed the bedrock of modern nursing education and continue to guide the profession today. Nightingale's work did not stop at education. She tirelessly campaigned for health reform, influencing sanitation practices in the British Army and public health policy in India. Her profound influence reached across borders and generations. Today, the Florence Nightingale Medal, the highest international distinction a nurse can achieve, honors her legacy. Each year on her birthday, we celebrate International Nurses Day, a tribute to the selfless devotion of nurses worldwide. Nightingale's legacy is not just in the tangible changes she brought about, it's in the spirit of nursing itself, in the dedication of nurses who work tirelessly 
in the quiet hours of the night, providing comfort and care. Florence Nightingale's legacy is a testament to her indomitable spirit, her unwavering commitment to improving healthcare and her pioneering role in the nursing profession. She truly was a beacon of light in the darkest of times.